we're going to insert a general note for ANSI specs. So uh, generally, when you insert the general notes, they have to be in or above the title block here. So I'll slide in this area. Now, if you just put your notes right now in there, it won't be in the same background as the title block. You must right click on your sheet and edit the background so that the background turns gray and you know you're in the background for the title block. I have, oh shoot, the notes here in the stack assignment. So we're going to do the ANSI specs. I'll highlight this. I got it set up. You've been copy pasting them in there, maybe in your other exercises, but you don't know what this means. So we're going to talk about that. I'm going to click the annotation and click text. Click a location for my general notes and paste them in there. And then where it says the, I'm going to do a shift enter, select OK. Oh, I do that every time. I double clicked on it. If you want to modify anything like Katia, double click on it. I'll space over so that it's lined up. Select OK. I'm actually looking on this screen. It's easier for me to see on the screen than in this little box. Select OK. Let's talk about some of our general notes that we're inserting here. See tolerance block when using the ANSI specs. There is another video on doing the tolerance block. You can check that out. ANSI drawings. Um, this is ANSI Y14. One thing I'd probably recommend is go ahead and splurge and find one of these books. These are ANSI specs and they're old, but they're still used. For example, ANSI specs or ASME specs didn't come out till much later. They came out around 2012 is when ASME specs came out. ANSI specs have been around for a long time. And if you go to a company, say for example Boeing, well any plane worked on before 2012 will still be working to the ANSI specs. So it's important to understand both ANSI and ASME specs. Again, the ANSI um, drawings are the older specs. Most stuff is virtually the same. There's some changes here and there, but it's only a few bucks to maybe get one of these older books that someone's selling off. So I might recommend grabbing one of those for yourself if you're going to be going into this industry. So generally what this means is um, with ANSI specs, almost everybody breaks sharp edges. I, I'll take that back. Under ANSI specs, um, there's a certain style of dimensioning. And usually we dimension on an ANSI drawing two places. A two-place dimension means that we're going to work to a 30 thou tolerance. That's 0.030. In other words, if I'm working to a 30 thou tolerance, this 3 inch dimension could be 3.03. .03. This 6 inch dimension could be 6.03 and still be within engineering tolerance. That's called the maximum condition. The minimum condition would be the other direction, which would be 5.97. 6 0.00 minus 0.03 gives you 5.97. That is called the minimum condition. For the 3, it could go down to 2.97. As long as it was still within that range from 2.97 to 3.03, .03, this part would be fine. It would meet engineering specifications. However, if it went to 5.96, it's too small and technically it should be scrapped. So be careful with your tolerances. You don't want to make things too tight. 
um, and make things more expensive by making them too tight of a tolerance. So again, your tolerance could go from 3.03 .03 or down to 2.97. That's known as plus or minus 30 thou tolerance or a tolerance of 60 thousandths. So when we're working with ANSI specs, it's kind of presumed as plus or minus 30,000 unless otherwise specified. Deburr all sharp edges, break all sharp edges. When you have an aluminum part, all the edges might be sharp on it. You just want to knock off the edge, deburr it so that the edge will be smooth and it doesn't cut your hand like a paper cut when you go along the side of it. Okay. Now, a new trick they've been adding to the drawings is build part is pictured. Reference the 3D data set per ANSI, blah, blah, blah. What that means is, hey, we did the data set and we're going to do model based definition and we'll put the dimensions in there and whatever dimensions are not there, you are to scale from using the measurement tools and measure what the parameters are and verify those measurements to the actual part being built. So, I think it's a nice cover for people that don't want to be responsible for doing the drawing correctly. I probably shouldn't say that, but um, this note here will identify that the 3D data set is the sole authority of the, the part itself, unless you're putting on dimensions otherwise, okay? All right, so I just inserted the ANSI spec drawing um, I know my tolerance drawing didn't come out that well. I'm going to try this again under text. I'm going to click over here and type in capital letters, tolerance, block. Tolerance, block. Shift enter, shift enter. And type in um, point X equals point, no, alt 240. 241. Alt 241 will give you the plus or minus symbol. And that is point 0.1. And then hit shift enter. Point XX equals Alt 241. Point zero three. Oh, I hit enter. I double clicked on it, click back on the back end of it, and hit shift enter to get a new line started. Point XXX equals space Alt two forty one. Ah, uh, point zero one zero. Shift enter. Point x x x x equals alt two forty one point zero zero five zero. Select OK. Now I will create a sketch in the tabs below and I'll use the feature called rectangle below. I'll select this corner up here and I'll just draw a box around here. Hit escape and now I've got a tolerance block. Okay, now I like the equals to be lined up so I'm going to double click on this. 
and click in front of the equals here and hit space. The next one up, hit space. And same with the next one here. Select OK. All right. This is the tolerance block. Again, I did define it in the other one. But the tolerance here, when you do an ANSI drawing, is presumed that you probably want 30 thou. If I were to go back to the sheet background and double click this parameter, if I were to go to properties on this parameter and look for the value, I could change that precision from 0, 1 to 0 0.001. Select OK. If the drawing were to call off 0 .000 for three place precision, what it's saying is we're going to work to this tolerance now. This tolerance point x x x equals plus or minus point zero one zero that means that this three inch dimension can now go three point zero one down to two point nine zero so you only have a twenty thousandths tolerance that you're allowing the shop to work with otherwise you're telling the shop they got to scrap the part so you got to be careful when you're doing that that's a going to be a much more expensive part if you tighten up that tolerance and they're having a hard time keeping it uh, less than 3.01 or greater than 3. Point, uh, 2.90 okay so the amount of precisions determines what tolerance you're working with. Again, if I were to click on this, this number, and go to properties, and I were to change the precision down here to a four place precision, now you're really asking a lot of the shop. If that reads four place, all the other dimensions are working to 30 thou. But for whatever reason, you wanted this dimension to be super tight. Well, it's got to be within this tolerance. Plus or minus five thousandths of an inch. Five thou is what we say in industry. Nobody says five thousandths. We say 30 thou, 10 thou, five thou. Okay? That's just how we talk in industry. So you get to learn the lingo how we speak out there. Nobody says 0.03. Nobody says three hundredths. Nobody says 30 thousandths. Everybody just says 30 thou. And we know that that means that we're talking about 30 thousandths of an inch tolerance. In this case, it's five thousandths of an inch tolerance. Again, that means that this can only go to 3.005. And anything above that is a part we would scrap. So the amount of decimals you place on an ANSI type drawing normally means that we're going to use two place tolerance and it's going to be plus or minus 03 unless you put on a different dimension precision. All right, so that's how to insert your general notes for your ANSI specs and then also how to insert that tolerance block.